Hi Pisces, it is Sunday, June 2nd today, you guys. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Pisces need to know, Spirits? Pisces. Pisces, thank you for being here with me today, you guys. Let's look into your tarot cards and see what messages show up. All right, so the very first card you have is the Ten of Wands, and then you have the Sun. This is Leo energy. Ooh, the moon. This is going to be an interesting reading, Pisces. The next card you have is you, the Queen of Cups, male or female. And then you have strength, Leo energy in the center of your reading. And the Page of Pentacles. The Fool, Aries Energy. Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. The Ace of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, Pisces, you have the Hanged Man in reverse. And then you have both of your energies are in reverse. The Hanged Man and the High Priestess are in reverse. These are both Pisces energies. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, you have the Devil. Capricorn energy is here. See what's going on, Pisces. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I feel like you're worried about something, Pisces. You're carrying a lot of wands around, all right? You're looking for a place to let these down, to set them down on the ground. And you're very, very worried. All right, with the Nine of Swords, and then you have the Seven of Wands right next to it, like as if, um, hmm. Like as if you're trying to push, you're trying to push stuff away from you here, Pisces. There, there's someone here that wants to face you. This person's embarrassed, though. There's someone here that that wants to come towards you, Pisces, but they're feeling very vulnerable. Yeah, I'm picking up on someone here that it's like you're going through a lot right here in your life. Like you're trying to do a lot, but there's someone that um, is thinking about you a lot. And it's, it's like as if this person is embarrassed to see you. This person's having a hard time sleeping. Tell me why the sun is here. You have Leo energy here with the sun. I think I told you guys that already. But, um... Hmm.
I'm sorry you guys for pausing here, but I'm you guys have a very strong energy coming through in your tarot cards today. This person, they may be a Cancer or a Leo. It could be any sign, but those two signs are very, very specific to me. Um, this person feels like if they if they approach you in some way, um, they would they would be rejected, and I feel like they're right. Whatever this person did in the past, this is showing up in your past energy. It's like you you were a light. You were the sun. You had a healing energy about you. <coughs> and this person, they took your kindness for granted. And they, they did not treat you good, Pisces. They treated you really, really terribly. They could have yelled a lot, screamed a lot, demanded things, made up things to demand out of you. Things that were even to the point where these things could have been made up in their mind just to gripe, just to complain. Tell me why the moon is here. Whoever this person is, I don't even like doing a reading on this person, honestly. But I don't even know if I should post this. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do it because for some reason spirits are bringing this to light for you guys. Oh, they want a new beginning in love with you. You have the Ace of Cups, all right? And I think we pulled up a uh, past energy for you guys yesterday. I don't remember. But this person's feeling very hurt, very hurt, rejected, heartbroken. This person's hit rock bottom in their life. All right. It's like there's a cloud of rain that keeps following this person around. You were very devoted to this person, Pisces. And um, you tried to keep this relationship, this connection together. As terrible as this person was to you, you tried to keep it together. I, don't, I hope that this person disappears now from the energy because that is showing up in the past. Let's move into the present. Ew. Gross. I hate to say that about a person, but this is like a narcissist, okay? This is someone who left you in a, in a feeling, in a state of feeling crisis. You know, left you constantly in your mind. Like, you could not please this person. But for some reason, you felt like you had to stay. Like, you could not walk away. So... Please go away. But this person, I feel like it's coming as a warning to you. That's why it's coming through your energy right now is um, this person could possibly break through and make some type of contact with you. But let's move into the present here. Spirits, why is the Queen of Cups here? The Five of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. They're, they're just going to keep showing up, Pisces. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, so we have Scorpio energy here with Death on the bottom of the deck. Alright, there's been an ending... This person, it's, they could be any sign, all right, but um, this person, I feel like they're, 
in some type of a long-term commitment somewhere else, Pisces, or they feel like you have it all, okay? This person feels like it feels like you have your life together, like you're secure. Um, you are security to them, and they don't know which direction to go in. This person's hit rock bottom. Um, there's it, two fives. They're wanting to change things. But the thing is, is this person's very wounded, very hurt. They have karma that they haven't healed. The way they, they, they treated you, um, they do it to other people. The Five of Pentacles is here. But this person could have some type of a legal matter going on right now, which is causing them to have lost their job lost financially like this person is broke it's kind of whew, it's kind of giving me shivers this energy let me see something you guys tell me more about the king of pentacles I see why you're showing up here in reverse this is someone that you don't like Tell me why the King of Pentacles is here. The Sun. Leo energy. You are a healer, Pisces. You're a healer. And this person's trying to come to you. They're, you feel like a magnet to whoever this person is. It's like, ugh, I got to get to Pisces. I got to get to the Sun. This person abused their power. They abused their strength. This person makes remarks about other people that are um, that are not good, and they couldn't even make jokes about other people. Tell me why strength is here. The Tower and the Queen of Cups. This person puts you in tower moments. They put you in a lot of pain, Pisces. And I don't like doing this reading. But someone needs to hear that some type of scale has been balanced here. The universe has your back, alright? This person made things very, very difficult for you. They put you in the tower moment, in the darkness and all you did was you showed this person kindness and love. But this, this connection, um, it is, it, I mean, it makes me literally want to cry. And that's why I don't want to do it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to bring it up. But it made you strong, Pisces. This connection, it somehow gave you strength and power, okay? Because you're you're showing up as your own Pisces energy here, um, where, where you tried to give unconditional love to someone, and they abused it, and they took your kindness... As, and your love, they took that as a weakness and they took advantage of it. But, but there's something here that added a lot of strength to you from this happening to you. This person wants to reach out to you, Pisces. Tell me why. See, look, at it's interesting here because we have the moon. All right. And the moon is right above here. So this person that we're talking about is showing up again right here. This person wants to reach out to you again. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini. 
This could be any sign, but I'm telling you the stronger signs. But this person doesn't know how. They don't know how to reach you. They want to reach you, but they don't know how. Because your energy right here, you're showing up as high priestess. Like, you're not easy to look up. You're not easy to open up a phone book um, and just find, find out where you live or what your phone number is. Some things... Something's all within you now, Pisces. You have changed. You have brought your masculine and your feminine energy into one. And you've taken the energy of this mild, like on this on this moon card, there's a domesticated dog and there's a wild dog over here. So you've taken your masculine, your feminine energy, combined them into one. And here this is like it's like you have the hard side that you need now and you also still carry the softness and compassion that you've always had but this person wants to reach out to you Pisces but they can't I, you're being very protected from this person when I look into the future Pisces you have the fool all right, which is a major arcana, and then you have temperance, a major arcana also. Why is the fool here? The seven of cups. And you have the queen of wands. And you have Justice, Libra Energy. Okay, so you're telling me right here, Pisces, you're telling me that um, the way you become, the strength that you have now, this High Priestess Energy, this power that you have, <coughs> <clears throat> it didn't come easy to you. But um, it appears on the outside to other people like um, it's just easy to you. Like as if you are the magician, you know, like you just like um, things just come easy to you. Like as if you you are very lucky. All right. But it's not. It's through a lot of hard work, through a lot of strength that you are who you are right now. And um, I literally looking at these cards, I'm seeing you looking at justice. All right, you're looking at justice, you're facing what is right and how things have been made right for you. And um, this shadow person, this person in the darkness, um, the scales are balanced on this justice card. They're not on all the cards, but on this justice card. This person, this person in the shadows, this person you forgot about, this person that you left, they don't, they're confused. They, they want to reach out to you, Pisces, but they don't know how. They're looking at different options here, though. The next card you have is you have Temperance. Why is Temperance here? Yeah, this energy is something that you've made peace with, Pisces. You found peace and you've entered into a new world. Like that world, what used to be, it's closed out. It's no longer there anymore. And I'm seeing here that you're that you're very, very 
um, sharp in your mind when it comes to whatever work you do, which may be something online here with the world showing up in the Seven of Cups. But spirits are telling you here um, that there is... Something here that's going to happen. It's a new opportunity. It's going to be a new opportunity for you to move forward, Pisces. I'm seeing you receiving a message. All right, you have a messenger here. This messenger is good news. And it's showing up with the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something new where um that's going to be an offer okay from an emperor aries energy with the emperor this is a person in a person in a position of power all right that's going to approach you here in the future with good news and some type of an offer that will move you from I feel like you're already in a, in a pretty good position right now, but this is going to be like a level, a step up. It's going to move you into calmer water. You have the Knight of Cups showing up here like, like you're accepting this offer. You're taking steps. You're taking action towards this offer. Tell me why the Hanged Man is in reverse. You have the Ten of Pentacles. There's something that you that you don't know, all right? There's something going on here, Pisces, that you're not aware of because you're not really um, looking at the bigger picture. There's there's other people in maybe like your extended family or your family. It shows up as family. It could be in-laws. It could be anything. But there's something here about someone not getting what is earned. Someone, like there may be something about an inheritance here where um, you're not getting what you're supposed to get. Or... Um, someone in your family isn't getting what they're supposed to get from this inheritance. That's like a loss. Like someone, um, someone, someone felt sad over losing someone here in their energy. But there's a battle over some type of an inheritance some, somewhere. And it's like it, this hasn't even crossed your mind. Tell me why the High Priestess is in reverse. You're, I, whoever this person is that's coming forward, they're showing up again. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you have Chariot. Very, very strong Cancer energy here, you guys. You're like, no, you're not looking into my world. You're not coming back into my world. This is, um, I don't care what that pentacle is you have in your hand, but you're not bringing it into my world. You're not going to do to me what you did to me in the past. See? In the past. No way would you ever go back there again. I'm picking up a strong water sign here. Seriously, this person admires you. I don't know if you yourself have your own YouTube channel or what, but um, this person is somehow recognizing you, noticing you, which may be in some type of an audience here. Okay, they may be someone in the crowd. Tell me. Tell me what this person's intentions are with Pisces. Why are they coming? Or why are they trying to come? Yeah, they've been through a tower moment. All right. Um, they've missed all their opportunities. This person is broke in some way. 
they feel very vulnerable here the star comes after the tower so apparently this is aquarius energy too apparently they've hit a tower moment and um they had they have this piece of hope all right and that pisces would still have that loving kind um energy to give the give them a helping hand um mm. I want you guys to choose your angel answer cards and choose as many as you're feeling called to choose. So we have number one, number two, three, four, five. Ask your angels question out loud, Pisces. And um, choose as many cards as you're feeling drawn to. All right, because one of one of them may not resonate, and if it doesn't, you'll feel that instantly. You'll know it. If you chose number one, you're being told to take action. If you chose number two within the next few weeks, number three in the near future, number four, there's something better. Number five, reconsider. All right, and then let's get your Moonology cards for advice, Pisces. Does Pisces need to know? Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. And adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. On the bottom of the deck, you have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. And there's that cancer energy again. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they do have cancer in their chart. Whoever this person is. They will, this person would do the world for you. Or say they would. And they do do a lot for you. Um, but at what expense? What does this person want in return? And that's what the big deal is here, is at what expense, okay? Um, but I love you guys, Pisces. Thank you for being here with me. Be cautious of this energy. Um, and take care of you, Pisces. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.